And now, the long-awaited moment. We have Butterfly Joe live in the studio. And they are ready to play for you now. Hi, we're Butterfly Joe. Hey there. <laughs> and we swallowed something <laughs> disagreeable. Um, we're going to play three songs for you now for your entertainment pleasure. <laughs> What's first? <laughs> Call me a fool. This one is Not the okay. newest one of, of our repertoire. This one is called Fancy Walls. Is this song of the second album? I just wrote that one. <laughs> <laughs> Special birds. Something good to look 
again Masterly paintings Commissioned by the king The king knows nothing Of what goes on around him So we are happy Open and out fly birds. And they peck the eyes out of people like you and me. Blind men roam the streets, and doctors will not cure them. They'll find no shelter from the coming storm. Life is a gift So you should love it And if you join God's army You will march forever And God will reign forever With an army of angels Guns will be aimed with joy And their bullets will be loved Fancy walls Something good to look at Masterpiece paintings Commissioned by the king My dad smokes PCP And he tells me that I'm ugly Surrounds me with his army and puts me to sleep. And I dream of stars so far away that no one could ever touch them. Not even at the speed of light, they never will be reached. Fancy Walls by Butterfly Joe. <laughs> Questions Next. and complaints can be directed to <laughs> WKTU 91.7. Only edema, swelling, and diarrhea occurred in patients who were given the placebo song. <laughs> One more song? One more song it is. What's that called? It's, uh, Life is Better in the Movies. This is one better of those, than Star uh, Wars? Life, oh. life is really better in the movies. 
It's, I don't know if it's better if it's better in Star Wars than in real life, I guess. I but if this were Star Wars, we would have I look, tonight's night, isn't computerized it? a base well, into this morning at 12.01. Wow. I'm not good at anything, but I don't really care. As long as there's remote control and a big fat easy chair. I could be a famous rock star touring on a train. Life is always better in the movies. My life as a screenplay would be difficult to sell. Lots of middle and no end and nothing much to tell. All my favorite boring parts would wind up on the floor. Life is always better in the movies. Dancers live. You can't have to imagine. You want to play more? Uh, if we want to play more, we can. They sound so much prettier on the record. Yes, we're going to stop now. Yeah. We are tired old people. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us here on your radio station. Thanks we really much. appreciate it. Come out to the and show. And it's fun to play for you. <laughs> Seriously, honestly. Really? No, I mean that. Okay, that was Butterfly Show playing live here on WKDU. That just was Butterfly Joe from their CD, self-titled, that is going to be released, record-released, party special way this Saturday at the Trocadero in an all-ages event beginning at 7 p.m. for a very minimal amount of money of which I cannot actually put a value on for you, but... Trust me, it's less than a CD. <laughs> and, um, they will be um, headlining and playing also at the show will be the Friggs, Burn, Witch, Burn, and Lee Charleston. And we have Joe himself here to chat with us um, in the studio. And let's here try that hello, again. Hello, oh, there hello, hello. There we go. And Joe is the Joe from Dead Milkmen, which um, all Philadelphians, I am sure, know of. And if you don't, you do now. I played them earlier. And, um, and of course, Joe's the really cute little guy in, in uh, Punk Rock Girl who does oh. the best stuff in the video. That's true, by the way. <laughs> That's one of the greatest videos ever made, by the way. Um, okay, and who else is in the band? Andy. Andy Bresnan. Bresnan. And another dead milkman, Dean. Who's just in here Dean. smiling. I'm very much alive still. <laughs> still living, dead milkman. And uh, Joe Quigley, who cannot be with us tonight. He's, play he's in another uh, gig somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm all of you guys... Local orchestra thing up in Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now all of you guys have um, 
other projects, which we'll talk about later. Let's concentrate on the Butterfly Joe right now. Okay. But we do want to talk about the other stuff because right. it's always good to tell people what kind of other things you um, have as outlets. Now, this uh, is your first release, this album. That is correct. And uh, it's on Razzler Records, which is a local record label. And we also have John, the uh, label owner here, hanging out with us. And um, the, uh, this is a full-length CD. Now, all of this stuff is original to this group. 17 songs. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Except for one song was a Dead Milkman song before, but Okay. Most people probably don't know. It's from the really early, early, early Dead Milkman days. Which we're not gonna talk about when that was when everybody was not born yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. We just discovered how long ago that was and we're not discussing it on the air, all right? Um, <laughs> I'm old. I'm so old. <laughs> oh, it's well you know you know it's bad. It's bad when you don't realize how many years. Joe and I had no idea how many years had passed, and then we realized that it was a lot. Um, <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, where did you record this CD? In Maniunk at Cycle Sound. Okay. It is. That's now great. it's called Minor Street Cycle Sound. Minor Street Cycle Sound. And they had on. Major. They have what? A they merger? Had a big merger. Corporate yeah. merger. While wow. we were recording there, they, they had. Oh. Did it affect it. you at all? Kind of. Mm hmm. Yeah, little scheduling workarounds, but it worked out fine. Yeah. Good. And because of the merger, we were able to bring in a 32 piece orchestra. You're kidding, right? <laughs> well, sort of. We are actually able to uh, use a fancy piece of equipment that the other uh, studio sure. had. That uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty nice. We had like oh, six string nice. players on on this uh, CD, and through the magic of multi-tracking, we were able to turn them into a 32-piece orchestra. Awesome! That's very awesome. That's the next thing I was actually going to ask you, which is I noticed in here that there are some people who did on different songs, played different strings. So basically, you have the core is the, of the band is the four of you, but for the recording, you have some nice uh, things you've tried with, with alternate sort of instruments. Yes. And okay. Andy, Andy plays uh, lots of different instruments, too, but not all at once. Yes. <laughs> now, you're playing, what are you playing tonight, the accordion for us, Andy? Uh, yeah. Now, Andy, you are in the Big Mess Orchestra, correct? See, so, in the big yes, everybody is. But you, you play the stand-up bass, generally. Uh, no. Is that no? That's what are you playing? Who's uh, that on the stand-up bass? Joe Quigley, who's not here. Oh, that's who Joe Quigley is. Oh, yeah. I know him. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <fine>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you usually so you play wind instruments. Uh, yeah, and guitar. And mm hmm so. Yeah, right. You and Chris Unrath Moonrath. Is he still in the big mess? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Play with us on he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, well, look at that. Drums with Lee oh, okay. Oh, is that who's in? Oh, look at how it all comes oh, together. Funny. It's the Philadelphia it's a super Asian. super group <laughs> Asians here. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Now I get it. I didn't. I've never. I don't. I've never seen Lee Charleston. I didn't know anything about that, but now I do. I apparently know half the band. Sure. <laughs> okay, so um, now we heard uh, a song before this, "Whale in the Sea" from the CD, before we started talking with you guys. And what I want to do is take a little break and play another track, which was chosen by the band called Radio that's on the CD, and uh, while we're listening to that, I'm going to give away a pair of tickets for the show. You can call me at 895-5917. It is all ages. I have a pair of tickets, and that's this Saturday for the record release for Butterfly Joe at the Trocadero with Burn Witch Burn, Friggs, and Lee Charleston Band, and it starts at 7 p.m. Again, all ages, so anyone can call 895-5917, and we're going to listen to this song called Radio from the Butterfly Joe CD, and we'll be back to talk to them a little more in a minute.
We're just getting calls from, from Dr. Dirt there. He wants to talk to Joe, but we need to uh, put him on hold. Here he is. He's on hold. <laughs> and, uh, and talk to these guys some more, and then, then we'll let you guys yammer. Um, okay, so I'm a little disorganized for a second here. I was trying to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Nobody won the <laughs> tickets, did they? No. no. No, well, someone is probably trying to win them right there. Will one of you guys want to field that? See if if they're trying to win them. Okay, so uh, um, let's see. Can you Joe, answer, tell us a story. Contest going on. A story. <laughs> All right, we got well, some over the tickets. Take it's their been info. Like a long time since we played in the truck. I don't think we've ever played in the truck, have we? Um, uh, not, in this configuration. not in this configuration. You guys. But we do have a winner. Yes, there's a winner. Okay, we have. We we will be giving away more tickets later as well. You're listening to uh, KDO in Philadelphia. Um, Burnwich Burn are also playing with us. Right. Now, Burnwich Burn Another is Rodney. Milkman, yeah. Rodney, um, what did he used to call himself? Rodney Anonymous, was that it? Yep. HP Lovercraft, Rodney Anonymous. I don't know what he is now. Um, Rodney. You don't know what he is now? I don't know what he calls himself. I know what he is. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Oh, Rodney, we, <laughs> we do I love know. you so. I don't know what he is. <laughs> Hundreds of young people throughout yes. the Midwest. He just says Rodney in the in the Burnwich Burn City. Exactly. He's just oh, so Rodney. He's, so he's in his mellower stage now. Yeah. I have a very fond memory of when you. I don't know who lived in that house. I know someone from Dead Milkman lived in that house on Forty Fourth South. 44th. Oh yeah. And Dean, I did. Dave Blood. And Dave Blood, right? Who we were who? just talking about, John and I. And uh, yeah. I remember a party. And Rodney and a fire extinguisher <laughs> running out to a car and the person in the car looking like they were going to have a heart attack when he came after them. That's all I remember. <laughs> it's a fond memory. Fire anyway. extinguishers are not toys. They're very important. Right. <laughs> fire extinguishers are to be used for safety purposes. So, uh... <clears throat> so now let's talk a little bit. Do, do you guys have any kind of tour planned? Yet? Or um, it's a secret. It's <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a secret tour. We're going to show up in people's cities and uh, just play. Not play their clubs. <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. Right. <laughs> we're definitely going to be playing locally. It's and so exclusive <laughs> that uh, you won't even know we're there and we won't play. <laughs> Probably like the, n the Northeast extension. <laughs> the Northeast <laughs> corridor. <laughs> we're going to tour by Amtrak. Wasn't the first gigs of um, the Sick Kids? You get didn't really happen. Didn't really and happen. They, they would review them and say that they went. You know, people would say it was this grooving thing, and but they didn't, didn't actually really play happen. anywhere. But they put in the city paper, and then when they finally had their first show, it was like sold out and everything. And everyone's like, <laughs> oh, you know, I'm gonna be, you know. That's a great idea. It, you know, we're gonna do that. That's in a great major idea. Cities, you know, yeah. 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 Like we're gonna tour on the internet. Show. We're gonna plant reviews of ourselves. <laughs> there you go. You can have, like, you can have the Courtney high. Love travel log <laughs> of the Butterfly yeah. Joe show. You know, you as Courtney Love writing, oh, yes, they were so beautiful, you know, blah, blah, blah. They sold out <laughs> 10 shows in a row in San Francisco. And that would be awesome. You guys should do that. We can have one of those uh, live cams, you know, the Butterfly Joe cam. <laughs> you can barely see you know. what's going on. It's yeah. all fuzzy on the internet in the real time, yeah. in the real audio and video. You that are the zeroth awesome. visitor to this site, you know. <laughs> Zero. Watch them brush their teeth. <laughs> Shocking, but true. <laughs> they, Butterfly Joe has practiced this excellent oral hygiene. That's that could be the uh, you know captions for it. Um, it's safe, parents. <laughs> they're a, they're a nice band. <laughs> Okay, so um, so so the secret tour might happen sometime on the Northeast Extension within the next year. Sure, right. <laughs> sure, you sure. got it. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that was a pretty good synopsis, oh, wasn't I it? So. <laughs> After you create a little media buzz, then you're going to tour. Right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and obviously, since you just put all your blood and sweat into this CD, I assume that you're not right now recording anything else. But I'm sure you have lots of songs that you're dying to record. We do have lots more songs. It happens that we way, doesn't it? Songs. We might even play one later. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be good. Something that's not on Joe the CD. Here is the goose that laid the golden <laughs> pop hit. Yeah, <laughs> I know. He's, he's good. He's, he's cranking them out. 
<clears throat> so you're gonna play accordion tonight, um, oh, yeah. Andy. And what are you gonna play for us, Dean, tonight? My knees. Your knees and the floor. A little bit, a knees little bit of hand. Floor, yeah. A little, uh, a little. Uh... Awesome. And Joe, you're gonna play guitar. Yes. Okay. And, si and sing for us. <laughs> Joe's that the, is uh, correct. The expert at short answers. The king of succinct radio interviews. <laughs> I now, see. Tell me, this must have been a very painful period for you. Uh, how was the gestation of that song? Did you feel you really captured the essence of? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay, well, let's play um, another song from the, the CD. And while we're playing that, we'll give away another pair of tickets for the CD release party on Saturday. Butterfly Joe um, at the Trocadero All Ages event beginning at 7 p.m. or doors at 7 p.m. And also Lee Charleston, Friggs, and Burn Which Burn will be playing with them. And we're collecting up the records of those other bands so that in a little bit I can give you a preview of what that evening will be like so you can get excited. We have uh, another pair of tickets, 895-5917. We're going to hear a song, Wisconsin. John chose this one. And this is the cover of Dead Milkman uh, song, right? Correct. <laughs> So some, of <laughs> <laughs> so some of you older people might recognize it, like Chaz, who is listening and, and says he's sorry he's not going to be able to make your show on Saturday. Oh, <laughs> but There's we do a ramp that they can bring their little, you know, gurneys along right, for, yeah, for the older folks. And, and they'll have a special area for the oxygen, yeah. people with oxygen, the non-smoking area. The rascal. <laughs> And, and we just like look around and it's like, you know, and downstairs is packed and, you know, elbow to elbow and everything. And we come in and there's Ben Vaughn sitting there. And it's like, uh, what do you, you know? <laughs> and we just sat there like there's all this room around us. It was like the same <laughs> polite, you know, old folks section, you know. Oh, God. And everybody's rocking out downstairs. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <sighs> I hear you. Well, well, that's the opposite of, you know, the shows where... The, the last show I was at, which I cannot tell you what it was now, I cannot remember, but I came in and there was hardly anyone downstairs, and then when I went upstairs, you couldn't move. Right. So there was probably some old band. But we will also <laughs> have alcohol upstairs for the older people. You did not? Or you no, did we it? will. Yeah, you will. Saturday. Okay, yeah. right. It's all ages right, Because it's all ages, yeah. exactly right. So. Okay, so let's listen to this Wisconsin, and then you can call me at 895-5917 if you want to win tickets. And then we will come back, and uh, soon, very soon, you guys will be playing then, right? Yep. Pretty much ready to go? Um, just one final sound check with them all. Okay. We'll all right, so we'll then what I'll do is I'll play this. Do you guys want to say anything else? Bye byes or? Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll, we're going to go get our sound check. So okay. when you come back, we'll, you can shoot us over to the live music then. Again. Okay, so we'll, then will you guys go do your sound check. We'll listen to Wisconsin, and when you're ready, we'll have Butterfly Joe live. If you want that pair of tickets, 895-5917. Thanks, you guys. Thank you.